let's do this. Can't wait to see who joins. Again, if you're just joining, let me know where you're coming from, where you're at, where you're joining from. Let me show you the car I'm working on. Sorry, it's going to be a little jerky. What's going on? If you're just joining, let me know where you're, uh, where you're watching from. And your company name. That was super fun last week. Where you're watching from. Yo, yo, what's going on, John? Where you're watching from. And your company name. Let's do this. Fresno Cali, John. Cool, man. Good to have you on. Good to have you on. And if you're watching this later, it may not be live, so I might not answer your question. But I will in the comments. I will. I will. I will. I will. And these have been going on uh, YouTube. It's been crazy good. So, there's today's victim, Maserati. I believe it's an 07. A uh, little backstory on this car is that uh, the guy that owns it took it, uh, he bought it used, um, has about 45,000 miles on it, um, and he took it to get detailed. Or when he bought it, they detailed it. The story got a little conflicted there. Anyway, uh, he picked it up at night, which is the case um, of so many of these stories where they they get picked up at night. I love these front grills, by the way. Uh, but it's a darker... It looks... It's like a really dark charcoal. Yeah, nice daily driver. I think these things are fairly inexpensive, too, once you pick them up used. Anyway, that doesn't matter. So he picked it up late at night, uh, and of course the dealer or who, where, wherever he was at was helping him out. And uh, Pro and Local Detail Paul Frasco, let me know where you're watching from and your business name while we kind of wait for everyone else to join. I give you the backstory on this car particularly. So I'm, gonna, I'm doing a, not a full paint correction, um, but I'm doing a... Uh, well, that was going to be my story. I'm doing a swirl mark removal. So I was worried that actually what the customer was calling as swirl marks were actually spider webbing, but that's not the case. There's actually full-blown swirl marks. I'm trying to get it in the sun. I don't know if uh, Facebook Live will pick up the swirl marks. If you guys can see the swirl marks, let me know. Basically, this front fender, this door, and I did a little piece of the rear fender. Let me see. I got the full sun beaten right on the side of this car. Grant's watching from his breakfast table. Thanks, Grant. So I did. Let's go back. If you guys can see that at all, the swirl marks, let me know. Lance, Aggie's Twin Cities. Philip just joined in from San Diego, the detail surgeon. Ah, yeah, I figured it wouldn't be wouldn't be easy to see. Let me uh Anyway, I wanted to show you kind of the setup that I'm going. Anyway, you're going to have to take my word on it. Swirl marks here, which is funny because there's no swirl marks on the hood. So did they not buff the hood when they were helping them out? That's interesting. Swirl marks. Uh, quarter panel, door panel, rear quarter panel. Uh, again, already did this one. Uh, no swirl marks on the roof, but I'm still going to be doing that. I'm going to be doing the whole car, but... The main issue is these swirl marks on this side and on this side, which this side is not in sun. So, boom. What I love about these two is they're battery powered. Boom. So I will have essentially sunlight. Ah, oh, let's see if I can pick it up on this side with, no, it's hard. Sorry guys. Hector from Puerto Rico, high end auto detailing. Cool man. Good to have you on. Anyway. Not gonna be able, you're just going to have to take my word on it. Turn this bad boy off. So a uh, customer called me out for uh, swirl mark removal. Again, um, Aegis Twin Cities. Sorry, Lance. Um, anyway, so I wanted to show you kind of the setup that I'm working with in the car and some more feedback on, you can't zoom in, on the shoals right there. So uh, it was, in fact, swirl marks on the panels. Um, and so let me show you what I'm doing. I got my, well, most importantly, I got my coffee. Uh, pad washer. Uh, Grant, I will not show you the setup in the truck because 
it's a mess. Um, but Shoals did the video on this. What's up, Ian? Um, did a video on this Shoals. I got a lot of questions on if it can be used in direct sun. I'm using a Buff and Shine orange. I don't know what it's called, but I really like these because uh, the stiff backing. I tried it with the Eurofiber uh, first. Uh, Raphael's Los Angeles. Mr. Details Coffee always comes first, Grant. So I tried the Eurofiber first, and it was just working a little bit slower on this particular paint. So I switched up to this um, like medium coarse foam. Again, both Buff and Shine with the Shoals real one-step compound and I wasn't going for full paint correction to be honest um, but it's pretty dang close guys I mean pretty freaking dang close and again I wasn't even going for it I was just going to yes Teddy you're welcome for flipping the phone I can actually see your comments so go figure I thought it was gonna be sideways but it's not so this works out good and it'll be better when I put it on my YouTube channel because I'm following my own advice uh, so Anyway, the Shoals, I got a lot of questions uh, from guys saying what's the difference between this and HD Speed. This doesn't have any protection in it where HD Speed does. Uh, and this, uh, yes, orange, Philip says orange is go to for one step. Totally, it's, it's really working phenomenal. I mean, so uh, Shoals isn't going to have any lasting wax or protection in it, whereas HD Speed would. So you would want to follow up with some sort of protection if you're using the shoals but honestly you could see this rear quarter panel is full sun um and i used shoals full sun it's granted it's not extremely hot today um but it is and that's my little ladder i know some people have carts but the cart doesn't fit in the truck so i use the ladder um so i got my stool pad washer because I don't want a generator running it's just too loud pad washer works totally fine um, but guys I'm getting I would say at least at least 90 93.25% paint correction on that and again the only the only hey Frank what's going on Santa Clarita again pick some of the, yeah guys I, I, I mean honestly I, this isn't this really isn't an ad for the shoals or anything because I'm not getting anything for it. It just freaking works. Um, same like the lights. It just works. So, again, let me know where you're listening from and your business name so I could give you a shout out. Um, you guys have any questions about this method? Again, I'm doing a swirl mark removal on this. I think it's an 07 Maserati. There are swirl marks that the camp, my phone's just not picking up. Maybe when I get that... Uh, Maybe when I get that iPhone 8, you know what I mean? Daniel, great question. Does it have a good working time? I, I was a little hesitant to work in the sun, direct sun with it. Talking about the Shoals now. Um, because last time I used it on a black car, it seemed to be drying up a little bit uh, in direct sun. Granted, it was hotter and later in the day when I tried it on the black car. Uh, Abraham's in Dallas, Texas. Expressive auto detailing. Let me know where you guys are listening from and your name. You could also share it bottom left of your screen. Share it on your page. That's helpful. Give a bunch of likes. Um, so I was a little hesitant to try it in full sun, but I know I wanted to do this video for you guys and give you some more feedback because I had so many questions. Lance, how does it compare to HD Speed? It's very, very comparable. Again, I, uh, HD Speed, someone may have more experience with both of them than I do, um, but HD Speed does leave behind some protection, whereas this Shoals does not. Um, thanks, guys, for sharing it. Wesley's in Austin, Texas. He's the owner of Full Throttle Mobile Auto Detailing. Mike Rowe, not the guy from Dirty Jobs, but a different guy, is from Delaware, Sussex Auto Spa. Hmm, that was a tongue twister. Um, what's up, Mike? Um, so, yes, but this, I'm having great success working in direct sun with this Shoals Concepts. I'm using a Roops 15, smaller backing plate, Buff and Shine orange pad. Sorry, I wasn't watching. Buff and Shine orange pad. I'm sorry, I don't know what exactly that pad is from Buff and Shine. I got my generator going over here. Usually have that running. And then I just kind of have my stool set up. Thanks, Robert. Uh, Cody Baker, CB detail out of Douglas, Wyoming. So got my little setup. I do have my detailer's helper belt 
Kevin, if you're watching. Again, probably the most important thing of this whole detail right here is the fuel that keeps me going. That's my wash bucket. Did a wash before Onar in the bucket. Pad washer, I just have straight water and then I use a little highly diluted all-purpose cleaner. Uh, John says HD Speed is my stuff. I love all 3D products. I know there's better, but does everything I need. John, no argument. I love HD Speed, buddy. I'm right there with you. I'm just testing out different stuff because uh, the Shoals uh, low prof low profile Europad. Thanks, Robert. Um, that's the Buff and Shine. <laughs> I'm so bad with that. I met up with Julio a couple weeks ago. I'm like, dude, I'm so bad with the name of your pads. Um, Grant, yeah, sure, buddy. Um, <laughs> so again full not full paint correction just swirl mark remover on the swirl mark removal on this maserati um so what was i going to say the shoals ultimate one-step compound where this would come in handy too is if you're coating the car or you want to lay down a sealant hd speed great for if you want the built-in um you want the built-in protection and don't have to do that as another step um Justin says if he brought coffee to a mobile job, he'd be using the toilet, that bucket as a toilet. Um, hey, well, luckily where I'm working today, there's a few bathrooms right around me. You know what I mean? Uh, John, Jimbo, I do want to try the Shoals. Yeah, man, it's, I'm not going to lie. It's kind of expensive. This, this bottle right here was, I believe, was shipping just over 60 bucks. So, um, but... Again, it's going to allow me to do this job pretty quickly, and then I'll lay down some protection. Probably just D156. Um, hey guys, uh, uh, Justin and Miguel, they have you guys seen those memes for detailers, like the Home Depot bucket with the foam around it, a bag in the middle? You can make a toilet. Uh, Grant's one step is PRC 151 and DFC6. Okay. Uh, what is PRC 151? Is I get the DFC-6, that's your pad, but these acronyms are killing me. Still need to clean the rims. I I'm, I'm, wish you guys could really see the swirl marks. I, I, I'll post a couple pictures. Um, but again, it, the funniest thing, they didn't... There's only swirl marks on this one, this one, this one. Not on the hood. Not on the roof. Not on the deck lid where there's a pretty significant amount of, uh, I should have done a 50-50 on that. That looks like the sun's kind of picking that up. So it's funny, the dealer was helping this guy out, trying to make him good. Dude, my sc <laughs> skin grips right here, bro. Never far away. Never. Come on. I got my other one. Where did I set it? Oh, it's over here, Paul. 151, McGuire's. Got it. Thanks, Robert. There's the other one. I have the stand for it. I just, you know, haven't put it together. Generator. I'm using the Honda 2000. Works fine. The only downside is you can't use a steamer like the VX5000 and like a rigid vac at the same time. So that's that. Again, this is a work in progress, so don't. Don't be hating that the rims aren't clean. All I did is like this back last panel to see how the shoals was working. So full sun, because you guys were asking, it actually works pretty good. Now, again, it's only about 65 degrees today. Dang it. This is such a bummer. I really wish you guys could see that. Yeah, it doesn't have VTAP. <laughs> good one. Um, that should pick up the swirls in the camera. The light, I tried it on the other side. Let's try it again, Paul, since you're forcing me to do it. Let me see if I set this up over here. This is scan grip. Sorry, guys. Scan grip is battery powered. Let's see. It's not really... I don't know if that's even, wipe my camera, hold on, I just don't know if that's picking it up, this is the other sign, it's not, I don't think it is guys, sorry, um, yeah, I tried wiping the camera, sorry dude, 
Justin, uh, yeah, I agree. The b bigger one would be if you zoom in. <sighs> Just not picking up anything on the camera. Oh, sorry guys. Is it better with the light? All right, cool. I wish, let's see if I use the handheld one. Is it picking up any of that? Well, I'll post some pictures and we'll, uh, how cool is that though? This battery powered light. I mean, I'm sure some of the knockoffs do it too. But this is sweet. I just charged it. So. The zoom was good. Okay, so you get the idea at least, you know. But I didn't, the problem is I didn't do any correction on that side. Um, yeah, too far away. I, I'm just kind of over it. So I'll hang out for a little bit longer. Then I'm going to get back to work. But... I just wanted to do this video for you guys. Again, a really minimalist setup. Uh, what's the battery life? You know, I don't know. It, if you go back to the episode where we talked about the scan grip lights, um, I think the battery life was talked about. I think it's a couple hours. I could be completely wrong. The door is a different color. Not in person, Grant. Um, the, the whole car is the same color. It's just the phone. I'm still working off an iPhone 6. Waiting on that 8, you know what I mean? So maybe when I get an 8, that'll step up my uh, my game a little bit. If you're just hopping on, let me know where you're watching from and your company name so I can give you a shout-out. This is the 07 Maserati doing a, a swirl mark removal. Swirl mark, guys. Probably one of the easiest gigs. I love them. So this color is actually really cool in person. It's a total bummer that this... Phone's not picking it up. I need a Galaxy. Never. I will never have an Android. I had one in like 2006, 2007. I had like a Windows-based phone, and I freaking hated it. It's the worst. Uh, so it's all Apple for me. Any last questions? Uh, good question, Grant. What wheel cleaner? I don't, these don't seem too bad. So I might just... Uh, I'll probably just use the o r Not using the Sonex 20. Um, Derek is San Diego detail, uh, San Diego Cruising California Auto Detailing. Cool, man. I'm using the Shoals, guys. The S20. Yeah, I'll, Grant, I'll just o r in a bucket. That's it. Not even going to use any wheel cleaner. Shine the tires. User error with the Galaxy. <laughs> That's a lot of things like detailing. It's always user error, right? <laughs> Couldn't have been the pad or the compound that sucks. Yeah, I'll put tire dressing, but I spell tire with an I. Uh, cool. Robert, impressions fine. Automotive detailing from sunny Stewart, Florida. Good to have you. Hey, Robert, are you the one that made the meme with uh, me and the Auto Geek guy? I meant to, I was going to stop at Walmart and get the red scarf today, but I forgot. So I'm planning on another video, maybe on Wednesday, and I'm, I got to get that red scarf. Oh, what tire dressing? I use a local company that gets it blended from someone because it's cheap. Uh, but actually, I might. Eric's DC Detailing from Wisconsin. Cool man, what's up? Uh, my favorite dressing all around is McGuire's Hyper Dressing. It, just the versatility of that dressing is unbelievable. I love it. I love coffee. Thanks, Robert. That gave me a freaking great laugh this weekend. Schultz, you got it, bud. Mark, keep up the great work. Meticulously detailed here in North Carolina. Cool, man. Do you guys like... I, I mean, this car for an 07... I believe it's an 07. I'll go look. But honestly, for 2007, if I'm accurate in my statement there, is a great-looking car. I mean, I think for the general public... They'd be stoked with this. Ooh, Eric says roads are roads are cars. Okay, so roads and cars are completely covered in ice, freezing rain, schools crap schools and crap were closed. FML. Sorry, buddy. We're expecting more rain later this week, but for now I'm enjoying this little break. 
So if you're just joining again, let me know. I'm going to be signing off here, guys, in the next couple minutes. I'm going to get back to work. I'll post those uh, the uh, photos so you can see the swirl marks. But uh, this is a pretty cool car. Joe is top-notch detailing Fort Worth, Texas. Love the podcast. Thanks, man. Appreciate you, Joe. Hopefully the videos are helping you out as well. I, I, guys, I love doing live video. I absolutely love it. And they're all going to my YouTube channel. I've been seeing some, 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 whoa, some substantial growth. It's the coffee talking. Thanks for the one like, whoever did that. All right, let me hang out for a couple more minutes. Let the feed, your comments catch up. Um, Grant says, do you dress the inner fenders? I would, but these ones are like the carpeting. So what I'll do is just take like a little brush and, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, Mark, good one. Interior. That's what I wanted to do. So I wouldn't dress these, Grant. I would just kind of, I'm just going to sweep them off. Let's check out the inside. That's exactly what I wanted to show you guys. I haven't done anything, but check out this red. Isn't that cool? Uh, good question, Robert. What am I going to use to get this off the PPF? I'll use a wax and grease remover. Uh, Pablo is in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Showtime auto detailing. How many hours to do a whole one step on the car? I estimated. Uh, so honestly, this guy's a friend and I'm getting paid for it, but I'm going to take my sweet time. So two to three hours. Minus this live feed. <laughs> or plus this live feed. So two and a half to three and a half hours maybe. Again, full sun. Uh, no one's asked. I'm surprised about a canopy. Total waste of time. Total waste of time. Just if I didn't, if I couldn't do it in full sun, what I would do is just do, do this side of the car first. And then I would uh, flip the car around and do the other side. Let it cool down. And then so I'd always be working in the shade. But this interior is cool. A lot of red. But it's pretty freaking cool. No backup camera, though. But let's see. But the leather is in really good condition. Let me see. Let me look on the tag and see what year it is. Yep. Uh, manufactured December 2007. So it's probably 2008. So, sorry, not a 2007, 2008, but still a freaking phenomenal looking car for an 08, you know, and almost 50,000 miles on it. It's a great looking car. See you, Lance. You're welcome for the video. Thanks for joining. But guys, look at this. I mean, there's residue everywhere, you know, where the deck lid, I mean, just sloppy, sloppy. They were trying to help him out. You know, it's everywhere. I'm going to spend a lot of time just cleaning it all out. These jams. I mean, this is this stuff takes, like, not that long to remove if you're detailing. You know what I mean? Look at this one. Whew. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's a lot of residue in there. Yeah, those Italians, you know? I tell you. Black with red. Match the calipers. So, believe it or not, I did wash the car. Uh, Derek Pad and Product. So, I'm testing out the Shoals S20 in full sun. It works really well. Um, I'm using the Roops 15 with the Buff and Shine. Dang it, I already forgot the name. Uh, Low Pro. Uh, yep, Euro thing not that i still have the uh blended pad it just it was working well just not as well or as fast as i wanted because i'm impatient uh not going to be doing headlight restoration grant doesn't really it's probably just the camera they're they're not bad at all though pro something something yeah it's the orange one <laughs> it's the orange pad guys from buff and shine because they probably only have one orange pad. Just kidding. They have multiple. I got my pad washer, my coffee, my wash pad, my wash bucket. 
Same ladder? Joe, us and four million other people have the same ladder. It does need one more step. But they do have a four foot ladder, just so you know. Engine bay, no sir. No sir. This was swirl mark removal only. Honestly, I'm, I'm just not as confident in the engine compartment, especially on these high-end cars, because if one thing goes bad, and I don't know how it's been maintained, I don't want that bill. Risk mitigation right there, buddy. All right, guys, if you have additional comments, post them, and I will get back in the comment section later today after I finish. Post a couple pictures if I remember. If I don't, give me a rash for it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this one. I'll do a couple more later this week, guys. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate you listening to the podcast. New new podcast episode out today. Check it, check it. iTunes, Stitcher, tune in, wherever you uh, get your podcast. Thanks, guys.